doing this is the lip peptide from road skin and i'm using the salted caramel lip peptide getting a good monday workout really just helps set the tone for the rest of the whole week like even if i don't work out on any other day if i get in a monday workout i feel like my week started out amazing i don't know why i really hate stretching but i always felt really good after getting a good stretch session so i'm just following the alive app and trying to get my legs stretched out seven six five four three two one Finally back home, I'm gonna make a salad. Ooh, <laughs> that was a lot. It's my favorite salad. It's so simple, but it's so good. It's six o'clock, well, 5.57 precisely, and I'm about to go through my schedule and just make sure that I did everything I was supposed to. Um, I just posted my CVS content, so doing that. So I wanted to go over some footage that I filmed a couple days ago so i'm gonna do all of that right now you guys can't really see but this is what i need to work on right now this stuff right here and then i need to add links for this stuff so yeah this was my agenda i didn't really have much on it today just really had to post the content get these things from the store i went to a face mask later well, that's pretty much it so I don't need to go to tomorrow and kind of plan it out so that way I stay on track. I've been loving the Magic Keyboard. I highly recommend if you have an iPad, get a keyboard because it just makes it so much easier. Like if you use your iPad for planning like I do, it's like writing is fun, right? But when you have the keyboard and you can just type certain things in, it just makes it so much easier. And I use the app Notion a lot, so I can go back and forth with Notion. And in Notion, you can't write. So it was annoying to have to use my fingers to type into Notion, but having a, key a keyboard, having a keyboard really is a game changer. This one is pricey, um, but I definitely recommend it because it's automatic it doesn't need to charge it doesn't have batteries it just snaps right onto the ipad because it's from apple but it is pricey so i think any keyboard that you know whatever you want to get but i definitely recommend a keyboard and it also has a little track bar which is nice it's like having a mini mac and the sponsor post that i did today was with ltk and cvs so ltk is a company that you can use to link products so to link products i use ltk I use, um, it used to be called like to know it or reward style, but it's now called LTK. Um, I use magic links, which you guys have probably heard me talk about before. And I also use planet howl and howl is the newest one that I use. Um, oh, I have one more. So Howl is the newest one that I use and I really like Howl because you get paid instantly pretty much. I use those three. And then lately I have been testing out shop my, this is shop my, you could add different shelves to your shop so this is what shop by looks like you have different oop <laughs> i'm so used to the ipad now i'm like doing this so you have different shops so like i have athleisure and i have things that i use i'm trying to build this one so i can have everything in shop my and with shop my you can actually put in links from other places so i can put things from amazon here and it like goes through an Amazon link. Good morning, welcome to another vlog. Today is Wednesday. I'm starting on Wednesday. I actually started this vlog on Monday, but I'm gonna be honest, 
I was just not feeling it. Like, I just was not in the best mood. I'm still not really in the best mood. Um, but I figured, like, I need to start the weekly vlog. So I'm just going to start today. I'm getting ready right now. I'm going to throw on some makeup because I feel like maybe I can get myself, you know, feeling good with some makeup. And I've also been looking at some motivational quotes on Pinterest to just, you know, help me get myself together. You know, like, this one literally just says, yes, you can um it's so simple but um this one says girl reminder do it for you I just got done scrolling through those i'm gonna put on sunscreen the summer fridays i decided to skip the gym today which is probably not the best decision but i just could not bring myself to go i really woke up and what is that i really woke up on the wrong side of the bed <laughs> i feel like it's probably like my cycle or something that's on its way or supposed to be here because being that i have pcos i don't always get my cycle even if i don't have the actual cycle i will feel the symptoms when it's supposed to be happening should i do my brows first no i'm gonna do this first what the heck was that okay I'm also thinking of going to Joe and the Juice today. I have yet to try that tuna sandwich, and I've been kind of I've been wanting to try it. I just haven't made it to Joe and the Juice since it became popular. The last time I went to Joe and the Juice was probably mm, was honestly probably this time last year because I was working at a job, a nursing job in the city. There was a Joe and the Juice um, near it, so I would go there for lunch or like a late breakfast sometimes. And um, that was the last time I went there. This lighting is so yellow. I switched to my ring light. Hopefully it's better because I feel like this mirror, like bathroom lighting was looking a little yellow. Alright, so foundation. I'm gonna do the gonna use my one size concealer. I completely forgot what I was talking about. Hopefully it was not important. Today is all about getting out of a slump or like pulling myself together. I actually need to schedule a brow appointment to get my brows um like waxed or something because they're also looking crazy. Thankfully I don't have a lot of brow hairs. So it doesn't look too bad, but they are in desperate need of being plucked, tweezed, waxed, threaded, any of the above. You know what I don't get? I just realized this. My brow hairs never, like, whenever I pluck my brow hair, which is often, I never get any discoloration around my brows. Never. Like, there's never any discoloration the second I pluck out a hair on my chin, dark mark. Like, what is that about? I just noticed that. So messed up. Like, why? Why am I getting dark marks? I'm using the Haas Labs powder to just set my under eye. This is supposed to be a really quick look, but it's quickly turning into a full on beat. But it's okay. It's okay. Oh, I was talking about Joe and Juice earlier. I wanted to possibly grab a lunch there but i'm not sure i haven't committed because it's in the city which is not like too bad of a drive it's like 45 no probably more like an hour to be honest but it could be 45 depends on who you ask i just don't know if i'm up to taking that drive and then looking for parking so i don't know by the way i'm using the charlotte silberry bronzer Just did my brows. I'm gonna do some of this mascara. I added a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more. This is the Maybelline Surreal. Okay, and then I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna add a little blush. I'm gonna use the Hot Labs. This one is Watermelon Bliss. Honestly, I just grabbed one. I didn't even see what name it was. I just grabbed it. <laughs> And I put it in this little tray that I have all my products in that I wanted to use today. Okay, and then we're going to do lips. I'm probably just going to do, I think I'm, for lips, I pulled out this Dior 
gloss. Okay, makeup is done. I think I'm going to wear a headband wig today because I'm not doing my hair. <laughs> I'm not doing my hair. I think I'm going to wear a headband wig today. I haven't worn one in a while. And I keep seeing them on people. So I was like, oh, maybe I should wear one today. So I'm going to wear this one. I think this is from, oh, I don't remember where this is from. Um, I wish I did, but I don't. So... That's what my hair is looking at right now. I wore a bonnet with no tie-in, just a bonnet. And I haven't gotten a relaxer in like a few months. So my hair. This is what my hair is going to look like, I think. I may wear a hat if I stare at it too long in the mirror. I probably will throw a hat on. But this is my look right now. I'm going to spray my face with the one size setting spray. I really want to leave the house by 11.15 so I can get down there by 12.15, 12.30, um, park, hopefully by 1, and then stay there from 1 to 2. <laughs> I'm only going to have an hour. I'm only, have, I'm only going to have like an hour in the city, but that's all I need. I'm not going to, originally I was going to go do some work at a cafe either Joe and the juice because Joe and the juice is usually really small though so some of the locations and also the chair the seat in is not always conducive to doing work because sometimes they have those little like chairs like explain it but they're not uh, they do have some workstations but usually it's like a mixture of seat in there but I was going to go somewhere else to do work um but I don't have any work to do because well editing to do I have work to do but not editing so um yeah maybe I can do like emails or whatever anyways let's go get dressed so I'm wearing my white sweatpants or just joggers from Aritzia um, my top is from Target and then this is from Lululemon and for perfume today I'm gonna wear this florist it's from Ellis Brooklyn and I broke mine because I dropped it I've been using it so much <laughs> Yeah, it smells so good. I really wanted to wear something a little bit more, you know, dressy. I had pulled this out. It's like a long sweater uh, material. It has like a slit on the side. But honestly, when I thought about it, I was like, you know what? To wear something like this, I need a nice coat that's also long and warm. And I don't have that. I have long coats, but they're all trenches. It just wasn't what I was thinking. So I'm going to wear this. We're going to go sporty chic. That's the vibe. And I don't know if I'm going to wear a hat. I may wear a hat depending on how I feel. I don't mind my hair. I'm just not used to seeing myself with this wig on like this. Usually I bring it back and then I do the edges. But I don't feel like hooking it into my hair because whenever I do that, I get headaches. So I wanted to just put it like this. I've been seeing people wear it like this and it looks good on them. But for whatever reason, I'm like, mm, maybe I'm just not used to seeing myself like that. I'm taking these mics with me so I can talk to you guys while I'm out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to just wear Uggs because it's freezing and I don't want to be bothered. All right. And then I'm just taking my Sherpa jacket. This is so warm. like, And it's cute. It's cozy. It's like my new go-to coat. I used to have this North Face that I would wear all the time. This has now replaced it. I realized that I forgot to bring my extra battery for the camera. So I need to go back in the house to grab it. This one's already on 60%. So yeah. I got the battery. I'm going to put this in my GPS and I'll talk to you a little later. Finally got a spot. I actually had to go to a different Joe and the Juice location. Funny enough, I thought it would be hard to get parking at this location, so I actually went to a different location. Wait, was I wrong? Because I was circling around for like 30 minutes. <laughs> and then I said, you know what? Let me try this location. Happy street cleaning finished at 12.30 and it's 12.38. So that's why I ended up getting the spot, I believe. But um, I'm so happy this just happened. So I'm gonna just park on the meter. 
it's literally around the corner i'm not sure if i want to eat in there or if i'm going to eat in the car i'm just going to park for an hour because i really don't think i'm going to be in there for more than an hour and then if i need to i'll just extend it i have such a headache because i forgot to drink coffee today we got the goods i came back to the car because there was no space in that joe and the juice i also got a vanilla latte which tastes really really good i really wanted a green juice but because of my headache i had to get this so my head can stop hurting this is the sandwich so we're gonna try it together i personally love tuna sandwiches i've always been a fan of tuna growing up we used to have tuna pizza it tastes really good i haven't had it in years probably like 20 years pretty good okay it's good this is so good y'all i never thought of pesto and tuna together but mm. Where do I get this bread? Also, the bread is really good. I just switched over to the driver's seat. I was trying to debate if I should go to Crumble's Cookies or just go home because this one literally a block away. I really was unsure how I would feel about this coffee, but it tastes really good. Really, really good. And I kind of want to get a green juice, but that's kind of a lot. My head is still hurting, y'all. All right, so I'm on the way home. I'm gonna call you guys. Wait, what? I'm gonna call you when I get home. <laughs> at my little workstation I created in the room so I can kind of have a peace of mind. Usually like when the kids get home, it gets crazy. So, and I'm usually like in the office working or you know trying to finish off the day. But I decided to use one of the little food tables and just stay in here and get whatever work I need to get done in here i have to check my emails i feel like i haven't really checked my emails much today because i was out <laughs> is this real i just opened up my email and the first email is from charlotte Silberry's team reaching out to send me some products to try ah i'm drinking this green juice right now this is from wegmans and it's the cold pressed juice this is called green glory this one has apple juice pineapple juice kale uh, spinach, wheatgrass, celery, and lemon. So that's what that's what's in here. It's actually not too bad the flavor because it has a few different um, sweeter juices like apple, pineapple, and I guess that's it for the sweet juices. <laughs> I took this straw from Joe and the Juice, thinking it would be pink, but it's literally just this color. It's like a compost straw. I'm so grateful for this email and thank you because this would not be possible without you. Hello, it is good morning. It's Thursday. I'm on my way to Best Buy to run some errands. I don't really want to run. <laughs> I need a new memory card because the one that I have is literally the only one that I have. I need to film today, but I need to get a new memory card because I only have one and it's really not smart to use it for everything. 
So I'm almost at Best Buy. I saw a post on the internet. They were talking about people pressuring women to have kids in their 20s or 30s or whatever. And I just thought it was so interesting because being somebody who was basically a teen mom, I got the complete opposite of that take. You know, like people are, bottom line is people always have something to say. So whether if you're a teen mom or a mom in like who's 20, I was 20 at the time, you're gonna have people talking ish about it and you know, looking at you sideways, funny, making all types of comments. And if you do the opposite and wait till you're 30 or 35 or 40 or whatever age you wanna wait, or maybe you don't even wanna have kids, there's people gonna say stuff as well. So there's never, you can never win with people. With everything you do, you just have to do it for yourself. At the end of the day, like people will have something to say. It's not always easy to turn everybody off and just do what you wanna do because literally everywhere you you turn somebody saying something you know but it's important to know that people will be talking ish regardless so when I got married at 21 you know people have something to say like I heard people talking from left and right oh why are you getting married so young like you have your life to live you have all your 20s to live I've had people tell me that when you get married young it never lasts it's always a divorce when I was younger like 21 22 33 telling people I was married not even waiting five minutes literally right after I say like oh yeah I'm married because you know they see the ring or whatever they'll be like oh were you pregnant did you have a baby like that is it like that's that comment will come right after and while that was the case like if we were not pregnant we probably wouldn't have gotten married at 22 most likely because that's not the norm in this country or in our you know current culture it is so rude i feel like it's so rude and just inconsiderate for that to be your comment it really does come off a certain way it comes off as like oh like you're not really married you're just married because you're pregnant like no it's not the case like yes this is what happened in this situation but if my husband was somebody else we wouldn't have gotten married you know like it's not that's not the only reason why out of all the comments i think i got that one the most when i was younger as much as i see on the internet that people praise having kids young they do not like they really don't because when you do have a kid young you're gonna get side eyes from left and right. People are lying on the internet. Anyways, I'm gonna go to Best Buy. I also wanted to get a camera strap. We're off to Best Buy. Ooh, it's windy. I saw a camera strap last time and I kinda wanna get it. So hopefully I see it. Hopefully I see it today so I can pick it up. I don't see the strap. It was somewhere over here last time. Dang it, I should've gotten it. It was like a strap to hold a camera. Oh, here it is. It's called a cuff. This thing here. How does this work? Okay, so I'm gonna hold this. I need to figure out how to use it. So maybe I'll watch a quick tutorial. Usually they are right here. Okay, here we go. Um, 128 is 21 bucks, which is a good price, but this one is not the best. Uh, the extreme is the best one. $24. Okay. So this is the better card. This one has 190 speed. The silver one has 150. The black one, the Extreme Pro, is the one that I, that's the best one. And they don't have it. That's the one I have right now. All right, we must go to the Apple section because, duh. I always like to see what's in Apple. This is my little setup that I have at home. It's the best thing ever. Highly recommend. This is the iPad Pro, which to me, I just, I like it, but I feel like a laptop is enough if you have a laptop. These headphones I'm tempted to get, but so many people say they're not that good, but they're Apple. I kind of want them. I don't know. Oh wait, the keyboard for this is lame. This is a regular iPad keyboard. The iPad Air, the one that I have, the keyboard has a trackpad. This one is not, no. It's a every fiber in my body to not <laughs> go to the mall. I'm making an adult decision and I'm going to go work. I think I might get coffee, uh, Starbucks. I'm going the wrong way. Here we go. This is the inside of the strap. 
it tells you like how to use it and I think it's going to be really useful so I'm going to open it when I get home and I'll use it um, later but I'm excited to try it. The parking lot is empty today. I kind of want to take a quick wrap around. <laughs> need this um, jumpsuit. They don't have my size, but I need it. Trying the new um, cinnamon drink, and it's really good. Really here for the crop necks on these tops. And these, I guess more so these. The, the neck is really cropped, which I like. But I'm not really a fan of sleeveless like this. I don't know, the muscle tee. You guys, this is too cute. This is given. This is really nice, um, but I don't know about the color. Okay, so they have this top in this pink color. I have to get it. I have this top in like five colors. So I don't have a large. I guess I'll do extra large. Let's do this one. Okay. I do need to head to Ulta really quickly to grab a couple combs i haven't done a silk press in a minute i'm gonna do one today i just realized that i don't have any combs because the combs that i use for my silk presses i've been using them on cali's hair so i don't have time to be washing combs right now that starbucks drink is really really good it is higher in calories i actually need to put it into my fitness pal because johnny and i are doing my fitness pal right now The shelves are empty. I'm going to show you what I picked up. I am back home. I do need to make myself something to eat because I'm a little hungry. But um, yeah, let's get into it. I got this hair towel. I actually needed a new one. I've had one of these in the past, but it got really dingy, so I got a new one. Then I got this Boa Bristle brush from TGIN. I just needed a new brush. I got this gel from Pattern Beauty. I've been having my eye on this for about maybe a couple months, and I finally just decided to get it. So these two are mainly for when I do like my buns and stuff like that. So that's why I got those. Then I wanted to try this. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, but it's a control paste from Sexy Hair. And it said it has a hold of nine. So I'm going to try it out. See how I like it. Hopefully it's good. Then I got this brush for when I'm doing like either a sleek bun or a blowout. I like using a brush like this, like a teasing brush basically. So that's what I got at Ulta. And then I did stop at Beauty Plus Salon. I got a couple combs from Beauty Plus Salon. It's like Sally's with a salon, if you're not familiar with Beauty Plus Salon. So anyways, um, I got two combs. I got this first one. This, these are both to just style my hair. And then I got this one. They're very similar, but this one's a little different. I liked how fine it was, and also it has the fine tip right here best buy you guys already saw but i got these two things and then and then at target i just got the top i have this top in so many colors so i had to get this beautiful magenta pink color i think it's really pretty so that's my little haul from outside i'm gonna go make myself a salad okay got this this is from whole foods johnny got it yesterday just some chicken breast and I'm gonna have it with this steakhouse chopped salad kit. I got this at Wegmans with seasoning. This also comes with bacon, but I'm not gonna use the bacon. This is the bacon bits. That was, okay, that was onion, crispy fried onions, blue cheese dressing. I'm gonna smell it to see if I like the smell. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I got a salad mixing bowl the other day <laughs> at Target and tell me why Johnny took it to work today. I'm over here looking for my bowl and I'm like, where did my bowl go? He took it to work. This chicken smells so good. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Delicious. I am, mm, this is so good. I'm gonna have this sparkling water with it. 
delicious. The little onions just make it so nice and crispy. Hey y'all, so a little later, I completely forgot we had some plans today. So I have to push everything tomorrow that I was gonna film. I was sitting here procrastinating and thinking I had all this time, but I really didn't. So yeah, I actually did the first half of my hair and then I'm gonna do the second half to my tomorrow because um, I'm doing a silk press routine. So I'm gonna re condition it tomorrow so it could be like the actual routine because I usually don't like do overnight um well I do sometimes but whatever we're gonna rewash it to recondition it tomorrow um yeah we're gonna head out real quick I threw on a little bit of makeup but yeah I'll talk to you guys later or tomorrow it's Friday I am filming right now but I'm taking a quick eating break my lunch break is apple and peanut butter so it's currently three o'clock i just got done filming i think i started around 11 30. i am exhausted i need a nap <laughs> i'm so tired wow i did a dupe video and then i did my silk press routine which took way longer than i anticipated yeah i think subconsciously i knew it would take a long time that's why i procrastinated yesterday because whenever i procrastinate on something it's usually because it's gonna take a long time and i know it subconsciously even though i try to convince myself oh it's gonna take like a quick hour no i'm gonna put some of this cover girl i was eating i got in a package so i wanted to open it up and see what was in here i don't know what this is i'm even more confused wait <laughs> Okay. It says 24-7 inks. Oh, Urban Decay. These are cool. So this is the box. These are liquid eye pencils or eyeliners. So this is what it looks like. I really like the little gripping area right here. That's really nice. I love that. Your finger just fits so perfectly. It's easy to hold, which is nice because... Part of applying these types of products is holding. And this is actually also really nice for like a pen. Like if you had an actual pen with this, wait. I guess it depends on how you hold a pen, but this is how I actually hold a pen. So it's perfect for me. And this one is, wait, let's just take them all out. So this is the card for, this one is called Freak. This is called Deep End. This is called whiskey. I want to try whiskey because it looks like it'll be like a dark color, like a black maybe. Let's see. It looks like a really dark brown. This is nice. I like how they feel, like how they write. It feels really nice. I want to try that. Dark brown eyeliner and like mascara is trending right now. So I typically don't really wear dark brown mascara i like dark brown liner this is zero zero is traditionally their black color so this should be black and it is okay this is zero this is like a really nice like you could almost write with this like you could literally like write with this it's like a interesting it's like a felted pen it's really nice like you can make nice swirls very easily make swirly you know okay so this one is called this is freak freak is like a bright color Ooh, she bright <laughs> i might go to carnival now this is really nice this is a color i would definitely wear in the summer this would be really nice for like um an amusement park or vacation or just like a really fun summer event or spring even this one is called ozone i think this is like white White eyeliner is something that I never really wear because it's just the most contrast ever against my complexion. And it's like, whoa, it's a lot. But maybe I could do something fun. I have Mucho Mucho. It's like a yellow. This is really pretty. I, I could literally draw a little heart and it's so easy to do. So that's Mucho Mucho. Then we have Deep End. Deep End is like a teal oh this is pretty this color would look really nice on brown eyes as well and brown skin in general this color right here this type these types of dark greens look really good with brown eyes so so far zero deep and the first one i tried i think it was called 
I don't remember. It was called Whiskey. So Whiskey. Those three are going to be like ones I'm going to reach for a lot. This one's also brown, but it's like a lighter brown. It's not as dark as those. It's right here. It shows up for sure. It's just I prefer like, like a little darker. This one's called Binge. Ooh, this looks pretty. Ooh, this is pretty. Like I don't even know where I would wear this suit, but I'm excited. Like I want to I want to do something fun now. <laughs> This is binge right here. It's, I think they're really fun and cool to play around with. Thank you, Urban Decay, for sending these over. I have a couple other packages I'll show you guys right now. Okay, this one is from Lost Ton. I already opened this, so I know what's in here. But basically, they sent a couple um, skincare products, a cleanser, and a moisturizer. They also included a face roller, which I didn't open, so I'm not sure what it looks like. I assumed there was a jade roller, but I really don't know. This is so cute. It's a mini jade roller from Youth to the People. They sent over their new eye cream. This is the peptide in vitamin C energy concentrate eye cream. This is what the um, flyer looks like. And this is the cool packaging. And I use Use of the People's, I use their cleanser, I use their moisturizer, and like their deep hydrated moisturizer for like, it's an over, it's actually an overnight mask. What else do I use from Use of the People? There's one more product that I literally cannot remember. Yeah, this is the packaging for the, so this is the eye cream. It says it's gonna brighten, smooth, and depuff. so. There's that. Lastly, from Milk, I got a package. This is their new setting spray. So it's the Shine Blocking. It's the new Shine Blocking setting spray. I'm excited to try this. I love, 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 love the primer. They also included the primer, so I have a backup. But I'm excited to try the setting spray. I love a good setting spray right now. I'm hooked on the one size one, so I'm excited to try this one as well to see what it's looking like okay i feel like scent sprays are evolving you know maybe they're not but i feel like they are <laughs> i think that's everything that i wanted to show you um if i remember anything else i'll show you later for now i need to clean because you i am embarrassed to show you the mess that sits in front of me right now so yeah i need to clean badly and i will talk to you a little bit later saturday night i have been mia all day we were just having a really chill family day and I didn't vlog. So I am getting ready really quickly. We're going to the movies, Johnny and I. It's like uh, 9.17 right now. So I'm going to do just a quick little skincare and just get ready for the movies. We're going super casual, as you could probably tell. I thought I could do some skincare, so I'm going to use the Elements pads. I'm not going to do makeup. It's like too late. Some of this toner and then I've been wearing the cup of girl yummy gloss this week I really like it gotta fix my hair so I'm gonna just run the hot comb this thing is so scary the hot comb is so scary to me but it definitely gets your edges nice and flat <laughs> okay, i think we are good to go for tonight i'm gonna use the glossier perfume i have been drinking that um brooklyn ellis one though like really drinking it <laughs> it's so amazing this is really good as well that was the quickest get ready with me but i'm ready to go <laughs> 